You know what? I did a hate video on this phone not too long ago, but this Pixel 5 ain't too bad. So what's going on people? It's Tech Jamo. We out here again with the Pixel 5. I don't know if many of you know, but in the description section below, there's a past video which I did on the Pixel 5, which basically explained the things that I don't like about it. But I've been using it a couple days longer now, and there are some good features of this phone that I feel I need to share with you guys. I don't wanna to be too biased. I came at this phone thinking, yeah, this is way too overpriced, but there are a couple good features. Now, first of all, before I go any further, let me shout out my guys at Vodafone for hooking me up with this Pixel 5. Without them, this review, these reviews would never be happening, fam. So do me a favor, look in the description section below and you can find all the Vodafone deals for the Pixel 5 to maybe cop one yourself or just cop something that you might like, a little deal from Vodafone, innit? Mm, description section thing. Now, first thing I like about the Pixel 5 is the camera. Now, obviously it's not the best camera in the world, but I think subjectively, you can show people pictures from your Pixel 5 and they'll be like, yo, that camera is sick. What phone is that? And I don't know what Google are doing, but their magic in computational photography is wild. Literally, it's like this phone is designed to take pictures and put it on your Instagram or share it to your social media, Facebook, or whatever you want to use to share your pictures on. It's easy to use, it's easy to get a good picture. Let's say for example, you're out on holiday and you want someone to take a picture of you with your phone. There are those phones that you can give them, like let's say my Samsung for example, and they'll be like, yo, which button do I press to take the picture? What, what, what do I need to do with this phone? <laughs> then there's a the Google Pixel, which is so streamlined They'll take the picture, move on. They won't ask you any questions at all. It's a very streamlined and easy procedure to take pictures and have them looking good on this phone. Oh, something was tickling my nose there, babes. Second thing I really like about this Pixel phone, which surprised me because of the size, is the battery. Now, the battery actually does jobs. Like, for the first week that I had this phone, I didn't really use it that much. Just charged it up, left it on standby. And by the end of the week, the phone still had juice in it and it was still getting my notifications, even bearing in mind that I didn't really use it to turn the screen on. But the standby time was astonishing. Now that I've used it for a while, I've seen it that I've been getting six hours minimum of on-screen time. And that's crazy for a phone with such a small body and I guess a medium to small battery in nowadays standards. Third thing I really liked about this phone, and I have to I have to admit this, is the performance. Now, I thought 600 pound and you're only giving me a Snapdragon 765, not even an 855 or an 855 plus, and this is supposed to be your flagship, the performance ain't gonna cut it. But I guess Google are just looking at things different. They're like, look, the Snapdragon 765 is enough. It's more than what you need, essentially. Like, it can go through all the apps easily. It doesn't stutter, it doesn't lag on the camera or anything like that. You're able to play most Android games in full details or at least medium details if it's like a crazy, you know, graphically specced game and thing. And it does everything you need it to do. So that Snapdragon 765 is actually a bully fam when it comes to processing apps and video games on your phone and you don't really need any more power than that my issue just is that you shouldn't be charging the full price for a medium processor but i i've discussed that in my previous video which is linked below fourth thing i like about the pixel is that everything is just simple due to the stock vanilla Android. Everything is where you'd expect it to be. There's no secret menus, there's no secret apps, there's no duplicate apps, there's no bloatware, there's no adverts, none of that. You just get your phone, your dialer, the app store, download the apps that you do want, don't download anything that you don't want. That's it. It doesn't force you to use any apps that you don't want to use fam. The only thing is sometimes you're missing some cool apps that are quite useful such as 
you know, screen scroll, screenshotting, where you take a screenshot and you scroll the screen at the same time, or for example, screen recording, where you can take a video of what's on your phone's screen. Now, you have to get those third-party apps because they don't come baked into the Google Android thing. I don't know if they do. I, I haven't seen it. If they do, let me know if they do in the comment section below. But yeah, just stuff like that you have to download separately. But apart from that, everything is simple and it's good to go. You don't have to spend that one hour at the start of setting up your phone, Samsung, to delete all of the duplicate apps and apps that you don't want, all that bloatware. Fifth and final, I would have to say is the fact that there's no update anxiety. I never have to feel or think, mm, am I gonna get the next Android update? Am I gonna get this? Because two twos, this is a Pixel fam. You are guaranteed to get all the updates. I know there's Pixels from way back when that are still getting the latest updates now as long as the hardware confirm it. And that's not something I can say with all other phones. Like as soon as the new Android comes out, the Pixel gets it, usually even before it comes out. And all the other companies are like, yeah, we're, we're trying to sort things out. And then people are jumping on forums like, yo, how do I get my phone updated to this? How do I get Android 12? How do I get Android 13? You don't have to worry about that with Pixel. Google has got you for software. That's one thing they do have. I just wish they would also got you for the hardware they're putting in their phone for this price. But anyway, guys, yeah, thanks for watching. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe and like. Let me know if you agreed. Let me know if you disagreed. And hopefully, man will catch you guys in the next one. I think I'm going to do a camera comparison for this thing. Yeah, let's do a camera comparison.